Hello friends, it's your resident dysfunctional scientist, and today I'm going to tell you about what is possibly the strangest creature on our planet. What you are looking at is a slime mold. These guys are not actually fungus, they're amoebas. We may end up using them for urban and regional planning. Scientists discovered that they're able to solve mazes, first by spreading out and then retracting once they've found food. When scientists put city hubs as food on an agar plate representing a country, they found more efficient roadways than the ones that we have. And while they get pretty weird looking, really weird looking, this one is by far the most bizarre of all of them. What you're looking at is a slug formed by amoebas, sometimes called social amoebas or cellular amoebas. This particular guy spends part of his time as a single-celled amoeba. And then when they run out of food, they end up aggregating together and forming a slug. It's hard not to want to call this an animal because it is a multicellular form of life. And the different amoebas in it have different jobs. They even have ones that are more focused on mobility and sentinel cells that take waste and excrete it out of the slug aggregate. Once they've found a place where they have food to eat, they'll then settle and form into the single-celled amoebas again. They also form this fruiting body where they farm bacteria. Scientists have called it a primitive form of agriculture. The bacteria that they eat, they'll take into the fruiting body and eat some of them, but not all. When they send out their spores, they'll then take the bacteria with them so their offspring have something to eat when they start growing. These guys also participate in sexual reproduction as well as asexual. They have four different genders that we could call them. The one that does asexual reproduction and three other genotypes that can only reproduce with another genotype. Why they do this? I really don't know. I think I'll save this for another video and try and do these guys justice, but slime molds are also being used for medicine. They produce antimicrobials and antifungals and may provide an antibiotic for Legionnaires disease.